Hello, this is Heisenberg with the Wonder Woman 20-inch figure. And here she is with the Mattel 12-inch figures, and then the Mattel 6-inch figures, and the N.J. Croce 6-inch figure. All these figures are for the upcoming movie Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice. So this 20-inch figure is from toy maker Jack Specific. It's part of their Big Figs line of uh, figures. And we'll get a look at her here. She's actually, this one is actually, oh my word, look at all these holes on her back. She's actually a little shorter than 20 inches. She's actually sort of between 19 and 20 inches. But she's being sold as a 20 inch figure. And I think, despite the holes in the back, I think she's a very good looking figure. And uh, seven points of articulation, so the head moves back and forth, uh, the constrained by her hair. The ar arms move at the shoulder all the way around, the wrists move all the way around, and then the hips move a little bit forward, a little bit back. And so that's, those are the four, excuse me, those are the uh, seven points of articulation. Now, again, I think she's a good looking figure. I was a little worried uh, before I saw it, because again, Jack Specific, they make a whole line of these big figs, uh, large figures. Uh, you've probably seen them at Toys R Us. Like there's a lot of a lot of them for Star Wars characters, and also some for uh, yeah Batman, Superman, and Spider Man, and some of them they're different sizes. This is sort of like the twenty this, the twenty inch is actually the smaller of the sizes. They got some that are kind of like a yard tall, and my concern was that they tend to look to me they tend to look like uh, you know lawn furniture. They tend to look like uh, or lawn decorations I should say, like uh, pink flamingos. You know, kind of look kind of cheap and hollow. But this is actually, yeah, again, this is, looks like a real action figure. Uh, the, you know, fairly simple, but uh, but again, quite uh, well made, quite pretty. So like I really like the face. I think it's a pretty looking face. I think the uh, costume, yeah, I think it's a good looking costume. It's sort of, uh, you know, this is sort of like, you know, with the Mattel line of uh, figures, they've sort of like got their more, you know, less expensive figures and their more expensive figures. So this is sort of like more like the less expensive si f figures and that there's, you know, it's fairly simple, uh, simple uh, and limited articulation, but still good looking. Again, it's like a, uh, you know, a very good looking, good, good looking figure, good quality looking figure. Uh, doesn't look, doesn't look cheap. Uh, again, very pretty face, but it is sort of like, uh, so it's sort of simple, but extremely well done. So the actress, uh, playing this role of Wonder Woman in the film is Gal Gadot. So I think she does, I think she has been made to resemble Gal Gadot. It's not, uh, I don't know if it's a strong resemblance. It doesn't really sort of, when I look at it, it doesn't, you know, I, I don't get this, you know, big sense of like, ah, yes, that's her. But uh, certainly, yeah, certainly it's a good resemblance and, uh, you know, I'm satisfied with it. So let's look at the costume here. So in the movie, I think it's uh, it's the costume's not going to be quite so brightly colored, but it's but most of the toys are brightly colored, have the bright sort of like gold, you know, red and blue like this. So that's and that's understandable, you know, these being toys. So her hair has two different tones to it. It's sort of black and uh, with uh, you know dark brown highlights. And then here's the boots, sort of like they got they got them sort of like a solid color. And the more expensive Mattel ones, they sort of you know, have some skin tone underneath. So, okay, so here's here we're comparing her with the 12-inch Mattels, the less expensive on the left, the more expensive on the right. And it's interesting how they all have, you know, like obviously different faces. And, uh, you know, side by side, I think the 20-inch is the prettiest faced. So let's also add in the N.J. Croce bendable uh, Wonder Woman, which is about a little less than six inches tall and also has a very good face. But again, it's sort of, it's it's a little hard to compare side by side here because it's so much smaller, uh, but yeah, I think they all I'm, I think they all look good. But actually, it's like the face I find the prettiest right now is this Jack specific uh, face. Again, maybe because it's it's larger. There's a little more you know they have more uh, you know more room to to work on her, or I don't know what. But uh, yeah, I really yeah I really like it. So that, yeah, there they all are. And notice the costume is fair is pretty simple. That there's no, yeah, there's no golden lasso, no uh, shield, uh, no sword. 
And then this is how it comes in the box. So there's, yeah, there's the back. It's sort of an open box. Again, I'd expect, as I said, I think it, you could probably find this at Toys R Us, though I haven't seen it in my Toys R Us store yet. So there, yeah, so it's part of Big Figs. As we'll see in the back, it's uh, they're also making two Batmans and a Superman for the film. So there's making uh, four of them all together. We'll see that uh, after we're done looking at the sides. We'll see that. See, Sarah, I'll see that a little more. See, actually, I think she looks better in person than she does in this promotional photo. Uh, so again, I'm pleasantly surprised. So yeah, we're, as we're scrolling down, yeah, notice, see, they're, they're going to make four in the series altogether. And, uh, but, but I'm most excited about Wonder Woman, so this is the only one I'm planning to get. And here's one last look at all the figures side by side. So this is Heisenberg, hoping you enjoy your 20-inch Wonder Woman figure.